um, session and we've received some of the, the emails, your questions, and I'm going to try and answer them for you. The first uh, email was from Joachim at Grand Thornton. Joachim has a problem. He says there's some things happening at Nipo and he does not know what it is. Nobody confirmed anything to him. Joachim, your um, links and everything was sent to your principal uh, at Grand Thornton, Mr. Rio Martins. So all the stuff that you need to know was supposed to go to him. Uh, unfortunately, he did not log in as a principal. Uh, however, after the session, we will send the recording of all the sessions to all of you, the principals as well as the trainees, so that the trainees or principals that missed the session can at least look at it, as well as two videos from or links to videos of SIPA. Then you ask also that you ask him, uh, when will the exams be this year? The exams are always in June or May and in November. It is now the 6th of May, which is next week, and then the end of November. He says, my plan is to finalize my logbook and possibly finish my training. By the end of the year, will this be possible? You still have to complete your whole logbook before you can apply to write the PE exam. Last but not least, what training is scheduled for this year? There are no training schedules for trainees at all. All the training will be done on this um, uh, portal that you will receive. And it says, to whom is the training email sent to? Training emails or all emails that affect students or, or trainees are sent to the trainees as well as their principals. Okay. Joachim, I hope I have answered your questions. Um, you are also welcome to, to still type questions as we go along. The next one is Sunet Hayward. Sunet, and please next time uh, keep your questions in English, please. But I'm going to read it in Afrikaans. I will wees ek het last year my eerste evaluatie gehad oor 6 maande. She's from Ad's office. She registered the 18, January 18, so she's got a 12-month period. So, Sunet, you must go into the into the system. We will we'll mark your stuff off. And she says, that what I klaar getik het, moet ek het weer oplaai? Yes, you have to. Uh, but you are a typical example who can follow the whole logbook as it is. And I can assure you that your um, progress will be recorded and it will be nice for you. The next one is from... Luzan Matthijs. She said she registered in January 2016 and she's currently in her fourth year now. It should be third year. And she said, but we have changed it to, to seven years. Luzan, that was exactly our problem. The progress of putting trainees through to, to um, members, that, that period, the time period is too long. So we are trying to shorten that period and forcing you to try and do all your training in the three years. Um, the constitution will be changed at some point, uh, I suppose with the next AGM, where the training period will be three years. Okay, then she said, uh, also, is it possible that only the principal can approve, or are the monitoring officers also allowed to approve my assessments uploaded? Uh, Shashaba has explained to you it is a three tier or uh, 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 three people involved or a triangle in this process. It's the trainee who is supposed to do the work, the principal who is supposed to approve the work, and NIPA is the administrator to see that all is going well. So, no NIPA monitoring officers will never approve your work. That is the duty of the of the principal. However, if you have done the work and the, the principal does not sign it off or, or he does not give you feedback, in such a case, um, you may contact us and we will approach the principal requesting what is the problem areas. 
um, I hope you understand that. The same if they do not open more assessments for you in order for you to make progress, we will also intervene as the administrator in those instances. But at no point will monitoring officers from NIPA approve your work. Okay, I see you are in your third year, girl, so um, you will have to speed it up. Okay, next one is from Mr. David Bota, and David is at Barlet Coffee Lint. He just moved over from uh, Jameson. So he's got a long email. Okay, he says he's got 219 site of, signed off items in the manual logbook, and do I need to convert to the new logbook? The, the rule is if you have more than 50%, you do not have to convert to the new logbook. However, it is recommended that you do that. We've already put you on the system, but we will open you only if you ask us to put you through the RPL. Uh, I have moved from that office. Da, 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 da. Okay, the second question, he says, yeah, um, since the new logbook is a self-study, I would like to gain as much knowledge as possible, and we want to know whether we can provide him with all the acts, etc. You will see the, the NIPA website is currently under construction. Um, the technical uh, subcommittee and myself, there are two new pages that will open within the next couple of weeks. We've put all the links to all the acts, as many as, as what we could find, in one of the pages and on the other page is all the templates that you can think of you are talking here you would like to know how can you become a better practicing member so we, we are aware that people would like to do that so if any possible type of template you will find under that um under that page on the on, on the website so we we will start using the website for additional information that's not on the logbook and then you say we are not bean counters as i have specified today thank you for that i know we would like to grow human capital instead of bean counters um then your third question is can you write the november exam if you have signed of 219 elements now the question is no you need to have all your elements completed before you can write um, the November exam. Uh, and once you've done that, you will move over to that five months um, process, the, the project achiever. So for now, you are not ready, but as soon as we can determine how it will go, we can like Shashaba said, it's an individual thing. You know, I cannot say over the line you're not competent, but I can see if you've only done 60 or 70 percent, then you are not competent. You need at least all your all your elements signed off. Uh, should the full logbook be signed off by the end of April or can we complete it in the next month prior to the exam? Yeah, the next exam will be in May 2020. So for that, you need to be ready by January 2020. So if that can be a goal for you, David, I hope that will help. Uh, then I just want to say you ask about weekly training. That was in one of the questions in the, in the prior session. Um, I am aware that certain ATCs provide training on a weekly basis, monthly basis, as and when needed basis. But remember, most of the training becomes your responsibility. Now, if you go through the, this portal, you will see in the assessment there are are reading material, there are work that homework that you need to do, then there is an assessment, but it gives you detail, um, detail processes that you must follow in order to gain the practical experience. So it takes basically the role of the principal over so that it enables you even if you are in a remote area or if your principal does not give any practical training that you will be able to to comply with that practical training um we would uh, you you guys must just remember the trainees that the principals and the firms are losing a lot of money by doing practical training 
even if they must sit next to you and show you how to do something in-house training uh, and even if it's just a man manager or a or a uh, another trainee if they sit next to you and and show you the uh, the basis would be you should go and and research on how to do that and this is your forum that you should be doing that to in also to 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 decrease the time spent by the firms in training you okay i hope that was good now i received one question i would have nice email from a principal joe and prince at bdo she said she's excited about the exciting, the, it's exciting for the new logbook. Thank you, Joanne. We are also excited. I can't wait for this thing to start. Um, thank you for, for much. Uh, thank you so much for driving the accounting profession in the, the best possible direction. It's going to be a huge change for our profession. Yes, we agree with you. And I think the, the, um, um, insight that Professor Small had and working on this program for about three years is amazing. We are light years away from, from the other professions. So yeah, um, I think it will, it will change a lot. Okay, RPL processes. Some of the trainees have RPL, but their logbooks are not signed by a new officer yet. I would like to know how to, how do we proceed with this? Um, Joanne, you as the um, principal will open those those assessments or areas for them. You will sign it off as completed and it will come to me and I will then sign them off. There is no need for another monitoring visit, visit for them. Once you have signed them that off and the feedback is okay, then we will sign it off. Can I as a principal? Principal assign the core items, yes, to them, which I feel they are competent, yes. Do I op do they upload the evidence? Yes. And NIPA assesses the evidence and the proof, or must NIPA first come to our offices? We are not going to come to your offices at, for the next couple of months, um, but once you have signed it up, off, we will approve that. Then you say, on the e-logbook, the RPL indicated that the period of rec recognition is 6, 12, and 18 months. Yes, 18 is the maximum, but it does not mean to say that the number of line items must be limited to that of 18 months. So you can, you can speed up the process by assigning more items. I hope you understand that. I'm sure you do. Does this mean that, oh, yeah, okay. I refer to the attached as an example. Will NIPA be able to acknowledge completion of articles although the trainee has not completed the degree? Uh, yes, we do sign off the articles, but remember they may not attempt the exam without the two components, ac academic and, and practical experience. Yes. So, uh, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. I completed my SIPA articles in 2012, and SIPA issued me with a attach, although I only obtained my degree a few years later. Yeah, once you've, you've done your degree, then yes, then you can attempt the PE uh, exam. As we are now doing the same core and electives as SIPA, does this mean that the, it is that... For existing members, we can also become SIPA members and do the SIPA evaluation exam and get membership. That is the exciting thing, and, and, and that was something that I explained in, in my trip to, to the Cape area as well. There is a, a reciprocal agreement between SIPA and NIPA, about, and specifically about the training, qualification, and membership. We, as the two institutes, um, promote dual membership and with this and and previously because there was a difference between the the education process it was difficult to determine you know what member can can be a member at what institute now that it is the same we acknowledge both institute acknowledge the same qualification and yes members of SIPA can become members of NIPA and vice versa um, in June 2019 coming up now um, I have a meeting with the CEO and and the board of of SIPA where we will change the the um, reciprocal agreement to accommodate that and we will we will also attach the 
the fact that that NEPA has now adopted the SIPA, the SIPA education process. So I think that's also exciting. I was in 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 Saldana, and it's amazing how many of them would like to work in Namibia. You know, specifically in places like Wolfish Bay, where where the work is very similar between Wolfish Bay and and Saldana, and um, for them, it was exciting that they could also become um, NEPA members. But I also know there's a lot of uh, SIPA members that have uh, interest in South Africa and that would like to become SIPA members. The only thing that we have not discussed on that level, and that is also on the table, is the, the dual membership, what the fees will be. You know, at this stage, both 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 institutes charge a hundred percent fees but if it is due we we have to discuss whether there will be a discounted fee for the other institute but but that is on the table but it's not been discussed or approved yet okay then the next one will nipa require the accounting officers to adopt IFRS for SMEs in future rather than NEC 001. That is something that is still under discussion. Uh, we also work with the technical committee of SIPA. Uh, SIPA will definitely um, go the IFRS route, but that is also something under discussion, and I don't think it is for this forum. Okay, and then you just say that you have not received your login. I'm sure that you've received it now. Guys, is there any more? More? Okay. Mm -hmm. The CPD hours. Okay, you are on. You ask what about CPD hours for dual membership? Uh, uh, both both uh, institutes require CPD hours. It's again, not for this forum, but yes, it is. It is acknowledged. Even if you are a Psyca or a Psypa member or a, a Psyca or ICANN member, then uh, the the CPD hours counts for all of them. So you don't have to do all these millions of hours just because you have a, another dual membership. Is there any more questions? David, David, oh, heerlijk, hey, David. David, you have to ask Okay, David. Okay, let's wait for David before I give over to Shoshaba. Hi, Charlotte, I have not received my login yet. Okay, David that's David. David says thank you. Uh, okay, thank you. All right, guys, that's all from me. If there's any more questions, type them in. Shoshaba is going to finalize the training session, and then Charlotte is going to say goodbye to Shoshaba. Good afternoon again, everyone. Uh, we... We have sent most of the login details, uh, but if, still, if you still haven't received it, and then you're more than welcome to actually send NIPA an email, and then we'll make that happen. And then one other thing is, I all the OEs, I'm sure they have received their login detail. The principal have received their login details, and then they've been linked. Or they've been linked to to the trainees, and then they've been linked to 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 NIPA. Uh, so you will see that uh, uh, SC at NIPA and Charlotte at NIPA, they can actually see the profiles of all the ATCs and and the principals. So the principals have been linked uh, to all the trainees at the moment, and then some of the login details are still coming. But please confirm. Okay, the login details have been sent to the trainees. Login details have been sent to a trainee's email address. The principal login details have been sent to the principal uh, email address as well. If you haven't received it, and then we'll have to go back and check the email addresses if it's correct or not. That's not a train smash. But at the end of the day, we want everyone to have their login details. So, Shaba, maybe they can send Christy. Okay, can you send Chrisley an email that do you, if you haven't received your login details, can you send Chrisley an email, please? Uh, I think that will be better. Uh, Adele, uh, the same. Mumbai, yeah. These are the ones that sent their email addresses in the morning. Okay. They're the ones that we need to correct now. Okay. All right. No, we'll, we'll have a look at it. We'll, we'll have a look at it. 
But one thing that I wanted to show you before the end of this session uh, today, but can you please send that, the emails to... Reception at... To reception at nipa dot co dot no, no, dot com dot na yes can you please send it to to reception thank you and then we'll deal with that one thing that i wanted to show you is the actual desktop app can you see my screen can you see the desktop app no okay one thing that I wanted to show you is this desktop. Page. So this is an installation which I actually showed you earlier that you can download the Windows app from here. So after you have downloaded it, it will look like this on your on your computer. So the nice thing about it is immediately you don't have to work online because everything that you have worked online is actually here. So if there is any update which is released, it will actually reflect here on top that there's an update, then you need to be connected to the internet. Then you just click there and then the update will run. So how it works is pretty much simple and and straightforward. You, I'm going to show you now. It's work exactly the same as, as the online and it works exactly the same as your as your Android app as well. So you use the exactly the same login details. So this is how it looks. So this is your desktop, but you can use it offline, but immediately when you're online, you just click synchronize all and then all the information that you have uploaded while you are, you are offline and then it will come through. So you will see if you are offline, if you say synchronize all, it don't show you this, this green ticks over here. So it will show something like this here, which is red. It, it, it tells you that some of the information didn't synchronize properly. So in this reason why we're getting this is uh, the profile on online is open because it's thinking that I'm still busy online. So that's the reason why it's doing this. Yes. But did you tell them? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. I did. We, we did. I, I was just thinking. Okay. Um, the show. I just want to quickly answer one show. of the questions. Uh, Brunei asked whether the 6,800 hours is still a requirement. That is one of the changes in the constitution. No, it will not be that because the hours allocated are now worked in with all the assessments. So, um, yeah, the, the hours will not be needed. Okay, it is worked in. We've just got the extra uh, requirement that okay. they work a certain amount of hours as well as the elements. But okay. the time that they will be spending now mm. on training mm. will incorporate that 6,800 hours. Okay. So, guys, I hope you understand. Okay. All right. And then this is how it works. It, is, it works the same thing as the online one. And then this one actually looks more uh, like an app on your phone that we spoke about earlier in the morning. But these tools, the desktop app, it can only be used by a trainee uh, only. And the phone one, it can only be used by the trainee only as well. So the OE will need to go online to <laughs> see... So guys, the, the principal will need to go online <laughs> to actually see the trainees' uh, documents and everything because the principal's profile needs to be a live feed uh, to the trainees' one. The reason why we made the app to be available for trainees and, and the Windows app is their affordability. Maybe the trainee doesn't have access to the internet outside of work, so they can mm. still continue with their logbook. And also, they, wow. they are the new generation. That mm. is the manner in which they will mm. they will start operating. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. Okay. okay. We'll keep this session open for about... Well, well we can... We can 15 uh, minutes, 20 minutes. Yeah, I, I, no. We're coming back at 3 again. So I don't know if there's anything else... Mm. But we can rather uh, rather end the session, mm -hmm. and whatever comes afterwards individually, we can then handle address it, a, yes. address it individually. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We will do that. Okay. Okay.
If there are no <laughs> questions. You can just say yeah. Uh, from Nipasak, we'd just like to thank you, Shaba. Um, I think you've we've gained a lot of uh, new information, and I think the future needs are getting heart attacks, but we will sort that out. The principles are getting heart attacks. <laughs> um, uh, could you please just, um, after the session is finished, uh, rate his, his, um, his training? Oh. Sorry, we just got a WhatsApp. Brene would like to thank Shishaba as well. Thank you. <laughs> um, please rate his training so that we can give feedback to Saipa as well. Thanks, Shishaba. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, guys. Thank and you guys, very much, everyone. Yes. Just for your information, we took him last yesterday to Evelyn Street and he had Kapana at single quarters. <laughs> he was shocked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, bye, guys. Bye. bye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. He's open it, she's not the one.